Hello and welcome to a new video on the Crypto2 YouTube channel. In this video, we want to have a look at steganography. Recently, a student working for the Crypto2 team finished in her bachelor thesis components that implement text and image steganography. And in this video, I want to first introduce to the general term of steganography. Then I want to present text steganography in detail. And after that, we will have a look at how to do steganography in Crypto2. And as you see here, part four and five here are written in gray color. And this means that we will have a look at image steganography in the next video. And you will also see how to do this in Crypto2 in the next video. Steganography is a practice of hiding a message in a container medium. And the container medium can be <laughs> everything where you can hide something inside. But of course, with steganography, we have some common media. The word steganography comes from Greek steganographia, which combines the word steganos, meaning covered or concealed, and graphia, meaning writing. And some examples for steganography are, for instance, writing behind clay tablets to hide the message. In ancient times, people wrote on clay tablets. And of course, they wrote on front of the clay tablets. But of course, you can hide a message by not writing on the front of the tablet, but on the back of the tablet. And on the front, of course, you have an unsuspicious message and your hidden message is written on the back. The next example is shaving the head of the messenger. That was also done in ancient times. And they shaved the head of the messenger, then they tattooed the message on the shaved head. And finally, they waited until the hair of the messenger grew again and the message was hidden. Clearly, this method takes some time since hair doesn't grow so fast. So you have to wait a good amount of time until you can send your messenger. So this method is not good when you have to send an urgent message. Then the next example is the usage of invisible ink. And you probably know this already. And with invisible ink, you write on a paper with a kind of liquid that is invisible when it's dry. And then you use, for instance, a candle to heat the paper and the writing is visible again. The next example is hiding the message in a text. And that is what we want to do in this video. And to do so, we have different techniques. For instance, you could use the first letter or the second letter. And these letters then are your hidden message and you construct a message around this. But we also have different methods and I want to show you some of these later on. Then the next example is hiding the message in a music sheet and then the notes encode a message. This was also used in history. And then finally, the modern steganography uses hiding the message in a modern digital medium. For instance, in an image on this, we will have a look in the next video or for example, in an audio file. Steganology is the sister science of cryptology. And as you can see here, I have two graphs. I have on the top here cryptology and I have here on top the steganology and both consists of two parts. Cryptology consists of cryptography and cryptanalysis and steganology consists of steganography and stake analysis. So what are these terms all? With cryptography, the existence of a message is known, but it can't be read since it is encrypted. So cryptography is encryption, for instance. Then in contrast with steganography, the existence of a message is unknown. So you do not even know that there exists a message. You can't see it. With cryptography, you can see there's something, but it's encrypted. I can't read it. But clearly with steganography, if it becomes known that there is a hidden message, it mostly can be read. So if you know that every second letter in a word encodes a message, then you can read it. Then, of course, cryptanalysis goal is to decipher the message without having the key. That means when you get an encrypted message, you use cryptanalysis to analyze it and you reveal the message without having the key. And in parallel, stake analysis has two goals. The first goal is to prove the existence of a message. So you know that there's something hidden and you can prove it, but maybe you cannot read it. 
but then there's the second goal of stick analysis and this is extracting the message. So after you proved the existence of a message, you extract the message and you can read it. And of course, to increase the security, besides steganography, often cryptography was used in parallel. So you first encrypt a message using cryptography and then you hide the message using steganography. Now let's have a look at text steganography and text steganography, as I already said, hides messages in text. In Cryptool2, we have now five different new methods to perform text steganography. Capital letters, capital letters is binary code, letter marking, letter marking is binary code, and deal with spaces. What these methods in particular mean, I will show you on the next slides. In general, we can say that text steganography works like this here. You have your secret message, you have your cover or carrier message, and you combine these to a final message. And now in the following, we have a look at some of these methods in detail. So let's first have a look at capital letters. And with capital letters, we use an unsuspicious text and hide our secret message with capital letters in the carrier text. Here's an example. Our carrier message is, today nothing special happened, the front line was quiet, company Bravo takes it easy, only a few shots were fired, many men are on their way home, we stay calm. When you are the enemy and you receive this message here, you intercepted it and you read it, you see hmm, nothing special, so just keep quiet, nothing happens. But the secret message here is attack tomorrow. And how do we hide this using capital letters? We go through our text and we search for the first A and we make it uppercase. Then we search for the first T, make it uppercase. The second T make it uppercase. And to make it a little more complicated, you can remove, for instance, the second T. I think I forgot to mark this here red. So this is the second T, then we have A, C, and so on. And you can read attack tomorrow. And clearly, when you receive or see a letter with this message, then the uppercase letters they just jump in your face. So it's not a very secure method, but it's one method and you can implement or you can use it in Crypto2. Now we make it a little more complicated to get the message out. And we use capital letters as binary code. And we do the same as with only capital letters. We use an unsuspicious text and hide our secret message with capital letters, but this time is binary code. And that means that an uppercase letter encodes a one and a lowercase letter encodes a zero in our carrier text. And here's the example. We have the same message as before and the same secret message. But instead of marking all the letters here of the secret message as uppercase letters in our final message, we encode each of these letters with eight bits. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters that are eight bits now. And when we have an uppercase letter, this is a one and a lowercase letter is a zero. And now our text looks a little more complicated. And for an attacker who receives this message or intercepts this message, he cannot directly see what kind of message is hidden inside here. He sees, okay, there's something going on with the uppercase letters but he sees here known spell appen if that's not nothing he can read so encoding it as binary makes it for an attacker more difficult to reveal the message but of course if he knows that a binary code was used then he can also extract the message now let's have a look at marking letters and again, we use an unsuspicious text and hide our secret message by marking letters in the carrier text. And I used here the same example message and the same secret message. But instead of using uppercase letters to mark our message here, we just use dots. So we make a dot below each letter that we use for our secret message. 
and I also try to mark everything in red here <laughs> and I forgot the T here, but <laughs> at least I marked the dot in red. And as you can see here, A-T-T-A-C, attack, T-O-M-O-R-O-W, attack tomorrow. And this is not as suspicious when for, for an attacker as with the uppercase letters, but of course, when the attacker realizes there are dots below the letters, then he can also extract the message. And because of that, we have also marking letters with a binary code, but right now there's a small bug inside, and because of that, I cannot show you this in this video, but probably in the next days, this bug is fixed, and then instead of only marking the letters of the message here, you can also use the method to encode secret message using a binary code and letter marking. Now let's have a look at our last example that we implemented in Crypto2. And this is a modern example. So you cannot use this method here on paper and you will see why. And in this method, we again use an unsuspicious text and hide our secret message with unprintable characters. And this works because of UTF-8. UTF-8 defines characters that when you put these into a text, for instance in Word or in a notepad, then you just don't see these because they have no space. There's nothing that is printed. And with this method, we take our carrier message, we take our secret message, and we write the secret message in front of our carrier message, but with unprintable characters. So when you open this message here in WordPad, for instance, or in any other text editor, then it starts with today nothing special happened, but you have these hidden letters in front of the message. Clearly, when you open this message or this file then, this text file, for instance, with the hex editor, then you see that in the beginning there are some bytes that are not ASCII or um, you see that these bytes are not letters and then you see there's something in front of the text and then you can also extract the message. Now let's have a look at the new text steganography components in Cryptool 2. I'm here now in Cryptool 2 and I want to show you our new text steganography components. And to find the components or to find the templates of these, you go to the template section here and you search for text steganography or just text stack is enough. And then we have here different workspaces or templates. And I start with text steganography with capital letters. Then I resize this here. And now what do we have here? We have our cover text here. We have our secret message here. Then we have a text steganography component for hiding our message. We have the final text and we have the extracted message here, which is extracted also by a text steganography component. And I just click on play here. And then we see this here is text steganography with uppercase letters and it hides our message in the text and the text steganography component does the same as I did with my slides. It shows you the message and it also marks the characters that are used to hide the message. And then you could copy your text with the hidden message here. And since it's a very long text, the uppercase letters look not so suspicious at first. And of course here the text goes, as I already said, in this component here. And this component extracts our secret message. Now let's have a look at another example. And we have text steganography with capital letters binary mode. This template looks quite familiar. It looks like the template I've just shown you before. But instead of using text steganography with uppercase letters or with just uppercase letters, we use text steganography here with uppercase letters and binary. How does this look like? I click on play. And now you see that we have our message here hidden in the first part of the text. Then we have the second part where there's nothing hidden and it is encoded using a binary code. And then it's again extracted here. So we see our secret message and we see here that the 
binary encoding led to uppercase and lowercase letters in our Stego text. And when you want to hide the message this way, you could put some other text in front of this, for instance, with correct uppercase and lowercase writing, then this text in the middle, and then you could put another text with uppercase and lowercase that is correct after this. And then, of course, we have only to tell the receiver where he or she has to start to read out the message. And as you can see, we have read out secret message. Now let's have a look at text steganography with letter marking. And we cannot have a look at the binary mode, as I already said, but we can have a look at text steganography with letter marking. And again, the template looks quite familiar. And let's just start it. And we have here again an unsuspicious text. We have our secret message. And the component hides the secret message by marking letters with a dot below. And when we have a look at our Stego text, we see that this even looks less suspicious. We have some letters here, but at the first look at this, you may not notice these dots. And of course, with the same component, we can extract the secret message. And let's have a look at the settings of the component. And we can, for instance, choose here hide or extract as an action. Then we can choose the mode we want to have. And the marking is not only dot under the letter, but dot above the letter. When I restart it now, we see that the dots are now above the letters, but the extract component clearly cannot extract it since this is still set to below the letters. So we have to change this also to above the letter. And again, we can extract our secret message. So you could even use this component here to hide two messages at the same time using the dots below and the dots above the letters. Now let's have a look at our final new text technography implementation in Crypto2, and this is text technography with zero with spaces. And again, the same template or the same template layout. And we have here the action, which is hide zero with space and an offset. And the offset tells us where we want to hide our text inside the carrier text. Let's have a look at the presentation. And here we see we have the weather is lovely today. That is our carrier text. And then we have hello encoded at the beginning as binary with zero with spaces. So we have marked this in different colors that you see ones and zeros. And this is a hidden message. The Stego text that comes out has 67 characters, but the, carrier, the, the original message has only 27 characters. So you see here a difference and the unprintable characters are at the front of the message. And of course, we can extract the message here. What else can you do here? You can go into the settings and you can change the offset, for instance, to five. Now let's have a look how this changes. And now we see that our hidden message is between the W and the E here. And clearly the extract component or the text steganography component to extract the message cannot extract it because it expects the message at the beginning. So we have to stop this here and change it also. I think it was five. Yes, it was five. Now the offset for the extraction is also five. And when I press play again, we can extract the original message. And this was everything that I wanted to show you in this short video. I hope you liked it. If yes, please give a thumbs up. If no, you know what to do, give a thumbs down. And maybe you want to try these components on your own. So to do this, you have to download the current nightly build of Crypto2. It's not yet in the release, but in the next release version of Crypto2, these components will be also available. Also, in the next week, I want to have a look at how to hide data in images. We have also two new components or two new methods in one component to do so. So have a look at this video in the next week. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.